Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Um, today, as promised, I am doing a keto mukbang, and um, it's just four eggs. It's an omelet, so you can see this. Look at that perfect omelet. Are you joking? You can see a little hint of the sausage that's in there. Um, there's Parmesan cheese crisps, sausage, and cheddar cheese with four eggs uh, cooked in butter and a little bit of olive oil on top. Um, that's why it looks so shiny um and then some sour cream on the side and then i figured with keeping up with this trend we got a little coffee and i always use um now that i'm doing keto and i've done it for about like three or four days now three days actually not four days um i've been using this uh super creamer which is very good um it's pretty good. It's got um, MCT oil in it. It's got no sugar. It's uh, only 50 calories. It's got three grams of protein. And I think it's got about like five grams of fat. Let's see. Yeah, five grams of fat. Saturated fat, nothing. So um, this is a really good product. I got the hazelnut kind. I've had the French vanilla before and that's what I should have gotten. But if you like hazelnut, you'll like this one too. It's pretty good. Um, all right, we're about to dig in. I'm starving. Um, I might have a late night tonight, so I'm gonna drink this coffee. I've been having like pretty interesting days now that um, I've had some free time. It's been, I'm trying to see if this is recording. Um, I've had pretty, pretty um, busy days. I had a job interview today, because if those of you who are just tuning in, um, I left my job about a week ago look a little bit more than a week maybe 10 days ago what have you um so yeah so i'm no longer with that company so i'm looking for something else um that was not happy um i forgot to say there's cream cheese in here too this whole thing it's weird because i've done keto before and i've lost weight it's weird how you lose weight. Uh, it's very strange to me to eat like high fat stuff, just no carbohydrates, but I am like the carbohydrate king. I love carbs, I love bread, I love it all. So to really not eat it, to make a conscious effort not to eat it, it's so hard, it really is. But I said to myself, these mukbangs are not gonna be the death of me. I'm not gonna be crying on camera. I cry too much anyway <laughs> off a of camera. I'm gonna enjoy some food and not complain about it. So, cause the struggle is real with food. It really is. Yeah, I know. It's good. I know that I do mukbangs because, you know, I have some free time on my hands. Um, I wanted to start a channel. I wanna see where it goes. I mentioned a little camaraderie of YouTube too. Like I've met a couple of decent YouTubers. Like I met um, Tyson ASMR, not met, but like through like the DMs. He's so sweet. <clears throat> He's so cute. He's one of those guys, like I like ASMR, but like, just like him and like Spirit. I love Spirit Girl. I think everybody loves her. Um, like, I wish that, like, I could lay on the both of their laps, Tyson preferably, obviously, and, like, just have him, like, stroke my beard and, like, whisper me to sleep, but, you know. So that's been nice. I've been having um, some decent conversations with people as my social media um, grows a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, I... I I right, so sorry about that. My camera cut off. All right, so we're back. Um, and I was devouring this. I didn't realize that the stuff was going on. Um, <laughs> so I went out with this guy who um, is kind of a friend of mine, kind of like a newer friend or what have you. Um, and we were just talking shit to each other. I didn't really know why he wanted to hang out with me or whatever, um, but it came to find out that he had broken up with this guy that he was talking to. And I think he just needed like another, um, maybe just some advice, maybe somebody to vent to, I don't know. We had um, we had gone on a date years ago. 
there's not really any interest or anything like that so you know that's why I was like yeah sure I'll meet you because I was deathly sick and um, I just needed like a glass of Pina Grigio and um, you know maybe a little chicken or whatever because I had like just started keto that day when I hit your drink I know that but give me a break so he got really upset when we were talking about his relationship why it ended or whatever and he was just like you know have you seen you know my ex online and I said yeah of course wrong thing to say I didn't realize that but you know what my mouth so ridiculous I really really thought that like I figured that he knew I figured that like I figured he had to know I figured he had to have been online I, I knew that like I didn't see him on Grindr or anything like that because maybe because I wasn't looking or what have you. But I felt like they would have, because that's what happens. Like in our community, as soon as you break up, you just go back online. I've done it. I, you know, was in a relationship for six years. As soon as it was over, boom. Why? Because you need some sort of validation. And that's what I was trying to tell him. Like he's younger, a little bit younger than me and definitely a lot younger than um, the guy that he broke up with. But he was just like, I can't understand why he would be contacting me and trying to talk to me if it's over and he's online and he's trying to do whatever and I'm like guys just need validation people need validation in this world nowadays I mean hello prime example I'm sitting here in front of a camera um eating eggs in front of you all why because I need a little bit of validation and I'm trying to bring you guys some validation, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, you know, not just because I'm a lonely, sad, pathetic person that doesn't have any friends right now to eat dinner with, so we're eating dinner together. And it's because, let me tell you, I got some cheese crisps underneath here, and the butter and the cheese soaked into the egg. Mm. That's good. Not as good as something seriously sugary, but I'm trying to change. Like, I'm trying to change. I'm trying to change. So, and he was super upset. He was just like, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm really sad. I can't believe that he was online. I tried to break it down. Like, listen, like, this is just the way that it's gonna be. Like, you are gonna meet guys. I've been dating and not dating for a really long time. I'm not really a relationship relationship guy, but when the right one comes, I'm all in. But I know that like once there's a breakup or once there is um, something that's no longer, like that person is no longer the same person that you used to be with. That person is somebody else. You know, my ex, you know, I, I loved him. I really only had about two exes in my whole life. Um, you know, I've been in two serious relationships. Um, you know, I really loved my last um, boyfriend. We just didn't make, we made very good partners. We just did not make very good lovers at all. Um, we we're really not compatible in that way. But everything on paper was super good. Um, you know, and when we broke up, it was like, and this is probably for him too. It was just like, who is this person? This was not the person that I used to lay in bed with. This is not the person that, you know, I, you know, used to call 17 times a day. This was not the person that had my best interest at heart. This is not the person that loves me. And you realize that when the relationship is done. And it's like that even in friendships. Like, my best friend in the world. I love, 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 loved him. He's not my best friend anymore. And it sucks because it was something that, something that he did. We were always super, super tight. Um, to the point where people thought that we were boyfriends. And people still probably do. I mean, it doesn't help the fact that I, later on that I found out that he told people that we were. Um, but, you know, he did something. 
he did something to hurt me on purpose and I knew that and when we kind of like texted a little bit about it he said you know in my messed up mind I did that because I thought that you were doing xyz maybe ignoring me or maybe whatever so I did something to hurt you those words I did something to hurt you immediate for me like a stranger on the street now I can't like I can't do that and you know once you break up with someone and they start doing things intentionally just to get at you game over you know it's it's game over like you might as well it's a stranger crossing the street and that's so sad i don't know why we like that i don't understand it it's like that in straight relationships too but it's really like that in gay relationships like you really like that's it and i've had plenty of guys that i dated and plenty of guys that maybe like I've hooked up with or whatever that like we're cool, like we're all right. And I see each other on the street, say, hey, what's up or whatever. Especially a one time thing. Cause you always want it to be a two time thing. I do, anyways. First time just to, you know, to do it. Second time to make sure it was good or bad. I hate that part of the omelet where it's just egg um so anyway i know that he was upset i had to really break it down like that and just say listen you guys are, are not going to be friends because you feel some type of way that he's online and he's online and he's still trying to kick it with you and you know what that's the kind of the crux of your whole relationship probably um then i also said you know what? i'm like a heathen and you probably shouldn't listen to me because you know where am i i'm single but I got a date this weekend with some fine, tall, redheaded man. I think he's very cute. He's very nice to me. And we'll see. I'm all about the act of um, a gesture. I think that even with the story that I was just saying, my old best friend I would have probably been able to forgive him this is going on for months now if he just showed up and said listen I'm sorry let's make it right there are guys that have been interested in me that just don't show up you know they ghost you after a few texts after a few plans after whatever and that's it and that seems to be the way that like society keeps on going now or whatever. I know I do it too, you know? Um, I'm trying not to. I mean, I've had time on my hands now, so now I've been uh, better at it. Good thing about keto is that if this was a big plate of pasta, I would be full, but I'd eat and I'd eat seconds and thirds until the pasta's gone. This, like I'm full, I'm only eating the rest of it because this has the fat that I need. Like, I need fat. So I'm eating it. But I'm super full. I really am. And you've seen, you seen it. You've seen that it was like a, it was a decent omelet, but it wasn't like a kind of like, it wasn't a fake like IHOP omelet. Um, anyway, so when my camera cut out, I don't know exactly um, where it cut out. Because I was talking about um, the YouTube community. And uh, my two favorite ASMR artists, and that's Tyson ASMR, and that's um, Spirit ASMR The Chew. And I was saying that like, I sleep so well to them that I would literally lay on either one of them, their laps and have them stroke my beard and whisper me to sleep. Like that's, you know, that's everything to me. I, I love it, it's, it's so good, I love ASMR. I really, really do. I'm a little scared to do it because I feel like I'm not going to be that great at it. I feel like I'm not that great at this, but you know, I'm, I'm trying and except for like the whole choppy camera stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to kind of go on a date. Um, I'm excited to see what like the future holds because, you know, like I said, I really, you know, I think I'm going to end up moving back to New York, which is crazy because I have like job opportunities here. And it's also weird because I I'm, I live in that part of New Jersey that is super close to New York. I'm 25 minutes away from New York, so I can drive in at any time. I really could. 
and it's super easy. There's just something about the lifestyle and working and living in New York and just kind of like going to your day to day that makes it like easy. There's something about like Jersey that makes it long distance. If that makes any sense to anybody else in the world. Jersey is one of those places that people forget about. They think it's so hard to get here, but it's super easy to get here. I don't know. Mm. So good. So good. Um, so I have a lot of balls in the air right now. I will say that this has been, you know, when the universe is ready for you to make a